welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an alteration on a bridesmaid dress this is the bridesmaid dress I will take a full picture of it and show you later this is the dress so the bust is too big so I'm going to be losing the bust I'm going to be losing you can see that I stitch together at the moment I'm going to undo it and then take it in and also the strap is too much so I'm going to be putting elastic to pull it together so I'm going to be working on this bridesmaid's dress um, alteration I'll show you how I do it stay tuned hello all. so first thing you need to do is to look for this um, seam this is where they've turned the fabric, the whole dress out, in, out. So you need to look for this um, closure inside the dress. So what you do is you are going to take this apart. You are going to lose this out because you are going to be working on the bust. So you need to lose this off. So when you lose it off, this enables you to gain access. This gives you access to the inside of the dress. So I just take the stitch off, the thread off. See? Now it's open. So what I'll do now, I'll turn the dress out. So I get access. I put my hand in. Because I'm going to be adjusting the bust area, which is at the side here, on both sides. So you can see I've torn it out. So I'm going to be working on it on both sides. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've torn the I've torn the dress inside out. You can see this is the inside. So what you need to do first, because I'm doing the adjustment at the side, you need to lose this. The side has been stitched twice and torn in so you need to lose it first if you go in when you go in and you notice the side has been stitched like this see it's been stitched like this it's been stitched like this you will need to lose this seam first you need to lose this seam out I hope I'm making sense you lose this seam out first so that the side is flat. I'm quickly going to lose it off so you can see what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, so I've lost it. You can see that it's, the side seam is free now. You can see the difference. It's free now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one inches in. So I'll start the stitch all the way down to the waist. So from here is one inches all the way down to the waist. And then when I get to the waist, I'll stop. Cause I'm also taking the hip in so I just measure one inches I measure one inches and then I'll stitch it down to the waist I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to be stitching anything. So you make sure you clear anything that is there. And the inside, got the dress got a little um, belt at the front. So what you want to sew, you just put your hand at the inside, the right side. You free the belt so it doesn't sew on top of the belt. And it got some beads as well. So you have to be careful. 
at the bit. So I'm just going to sew the side and I'll come back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, also I have stitched it. That's the stitch I've made there. I've stitched it and end in the waist. So what I'm going to do now, because the lining is, this is the lining, this is the fabric. Because the lining is attached in a funny way, I've, I have to stop in the waist here. So now I'll separate the lining from the fabric. This is the fabric I'm holding. This is the lining. So I'm going to separate the fabric from the lining like so. And then I will start the stitching again from the point where I stop because I'm also taking the hip in. So I'll start the stitching from this point now. So don't forget to separate the lining away from the fabric and then you stitch it down. So when you are sewing the, when you are taking in the hip, you take it all the way to the knee. You stop at the knee point. When you get to the knee, you narrow the stitch. So I've done that, I have taken the hip, I've taken in the hip and I've stopped at the knee point there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to do the same thing to this side, just exact what I did. I lose this part, you can see on this side, you can see that a stitch, stitch done. A stitch done. Don't forget, you need to turn the entire dress out first. In, as in from the turn from the right side to the wrong side, and when you get to the side seam, it looks like this. Not all bride made clothes looks like this. Some looks a bit different from this. But anyhow, all you need to do is to open it out. When you open it out, you lose the seam off, so that you get it looking flat, like this. So when it's flat like this, it's easy for you to take it in straight down to the waist if the person wants the waist to be done as well. If they don't want the waist to be done, they need to take it only um, to a point just like reaching the waist, you just narrow it in to reach the, the original seam. And that's it. So I'll do the same to this other side as well. I'll do the same to the other side. And then I'll show you the finish at fit. Alright guys, stay tuned.